Hello everyone, this is Sweet Lou Jeff Luzander back here at Keystone at the Crossing for our next inductee into the Indiana High School Baseball Coaches Association, class of 2018. Uh, LaTroy Hawkins uh, is a 19, or was a 1991 graduate of Westside High School in Gary, Indiana. Two sport athlete, both baseball and basketball. LaTroy, congratulations on your, uh, on your induction. Uh, just, can you talk a little bit about baseball in Gary, Indiana, <laughs> back in, well, in your high school days? Well, my high school days in baseball wasn't, wasn't anything like it is now in high school in Indiana. Our, my baseball coach was our football coach. He knew nothing about baseball. I would have to pitch or catch, come in and keep the score, <laughs> and then go hit, run the bases, go out there, do it again, and repeat. So baseball just wasn't that big of a, a deal. Um, at the high school level, where I went to high school at. Um, but I played Little League, I played Senior League, I played Legion Ball, and that's where I got the bulk of my baseball experience from playing away from high school. Now, when you talk about the Senior League and stuff like that, obviously you you were pretty good back then, or did you? Yeah, we had, I mean. I, I mean, had, you stood out? We had some very good teams uh, in the summer times. I would like to see we had our own travel team back in the late 80s, but yeah, we were pretty good. I wouldn't, but I tell people, I wasn't the best player on my team. I was just the one that continued to pursue baseball and was able to to use my, my gift to, you know, go on and play professionally. Right, but even back then, did you have any aspirations of uh, moving on no into the major No aspirations at all to play professional baseball. I wanted to be, I wanted to play, I wanted to be a physical therapist. If I didn't do that, I wanted to play in the NBA. I had this big basketball dream and um, I just played baseball just because it kept me out of trouble and you know I was pretty good at it so I did it just for something to do and I remember having a conversation after I got drafted by the Minnesota Twins. My grandfather told me, you're a much better baseball player than basketball player and the rest is history. <laughs> uh, can you talk a little bit about your, uh, it says here you were a two-time minor league player of the year for the Twins. Uh, in 1993 and 94, and then of course you made your major league debut, April, major league debut April 29th, 1995, and still just being 22 years old. Um, I mean, how were those days in, in the minors? You know what I, <clears throat> once I figure out what I was trying to do and on the mound and what I needed to do to be successful, that's when it started to get better for me in, uh, on the pitching mound. In 1993 in, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, it was the first year the Wizards, Wizards were there. I was, it was the middle of, end of May, and I was three and four with like a five ERA. Our president of our team, Andy McPhail, came in to speak, to watch us play, play for five days. I go in the game, I pitch three innings. I guess I must have pitched pretty well. <laughs> After the game, I get called into the coach's office. I think I'm getting sent down to the lower level because I have been struggling pretty bad. And Andy McPhail sits me, my manager, Jim Dwyer, and my pitching coach, Rick Tomlin, down. And he says, the only words he says is, Detroit will be pitching every fifth day for the rest of the year. No if and buts about it. I don't care if we do good, bad, and different. We'll be pitching it five days every, for the rest of the season. And I ended the season that year 15-5 and five with a 2.06 ERA with four complete games, something that just, it all clicked. And then I repeated that year. The next year I played in um, the Florida State League, I got called up to the Southern League, the double way, and I got called up to triple way. And I ended that season 18-3. and three. So that's how I ended up winning back-to-back -back minor league player of the year. Now, just looking in the early 2000s, the, some of the teams you played with, obviously the Twins, the Cubs, the G San Francisco Giants, uh, even pitching now, and they compared to where the relievers <laughs> are right now. I mean, it, it's – really totally different. Yeah. Would you agree? <clears throat> yeah, the game just keeps evolving. And you guys see in the playoffs the last couple of years when they bring in the, the late inning guys, bringing them in early because they understand that you can't lose the game in the fifth, sixth, or seventh inning. So it's definitely changed. Money's different now. And I retired two years ago. The money's completely different. Now, you know, management is valuing guys in the bullpen because guess what? Every team in the playoffs, they all have great bullpens. And if you don't have a bullpen, you're not going to win. The thing I, I like, of course, I was a left-handed pitcher just, just in high school, but 
compared to the major leagues, at least you've got uh, that hold statistic. I always felt bad for guys coming into the middle innings, and they do a tremendous job, but they wouldn't get any credit for it. And you know, the guy would get to save at the end, so at least they've got that, that statistic of a hold now. When I was closing, I would always tell the reporters, I mean, you guys just want to talk to the closer. If, it's, if those guys don't do their job, you don't get to talk to me. So why not go and talk to those guys as well? <laughs> well, I guess the other thing I wanted to ask you about was uh, uh, September 11th, 2004. Uh, you recorded an immaculate inning, striking out the side on nine pitches. Uh, going back to that moment, when you, especially no striking clue. out the next guy. And I had no clue. You had no clue? I had no clue. I didn't realize it until <clears throat> 2000. 12, I was with the Angels and I was signing autographs at Disney. And this guy wanted me to autograph a baseball. Excuse me, he had the immaculate, he had the date, and what he wanted to say. And I did. And I asked him, What is it? And he showed me. And I was like, Oh, I remember that day. But I didn't know it was something special. <laughs> right. Never, it never, I mean, nobody in the club has talked about it. Nobody in the media in Chicago talked about it. It just wasn't talked about. I didn't know. I wanted to tell the media in Chicago, yeah, I talk about everything else, but a guy strike out the side in nine pitches, and you say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, last but not least here, um, talk a little bit about uh, your duties with the Twins currently. Because uh, this, um, this is a long title here, contributing to the development of organizational pitching philosophy, using selection and development of all players. That's, I'm a that's glorified long pitching coach. That's glorified all. pitching coach. Yeah, but my job, <clears throat> I go and work with the minor league pitchers. I have to go to each minor league affiliate twice a year to work with the pitchers. Um, I do television in Minnesota on Fox Sports North. Yeah. Um, I help with trades, with free agency signings. Um, Last year I did some scouting for the first time. I went to see a lot of the amateur guys <clears throat> that we were potentially going to take with the first pick overall. So I, a lot of different things, you know, I get to do and dip, dibble and dabble in until I figure out my real niche and my next career. Um, last but not least, um, after that World Series last year, I, um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Reds fan, but uh, status of Major League Baseball right now, I mean, after the, that, that World Series last year, things couldn't be, I mean, and I'm outside the box here looking in, couldn't, things couldn't be better for Major League Baseball right now. <clears throat> They're pretty great. Major League Baseball, I think, made $10 billion last year. So I think the state of the game is, is very good. <clears throat> Excuse me, the only thing I'm really concerned about is the free agents. There's a lot of free agents out there right now that hadn't signed. And I think that's just because, you know, we have a lot of young general managers and be a little, bit, a little bit more wise spending money. I need to spend money recklessly. I get one more question came to me. I'll let you go here, Latroy. But uh, everything. Um, any guy in blue that you really would give you the corner Tim one night? Who? Tim Cheetah. Tim Cheetah. Tim Cheetah. Uh -huh. Least favorite umpire <laughs> by far. We've had a couple run-ins. One in Minnesota and one in Chicago. So he's my least favorite umpire. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on your induction. I really, really appreciate you coming back. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. We'll be back with our final inductee.